Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, Harlem Says. I know it's been ages since I recorded my last video, but since I'm almost done with engineering, I wanted to show you some of the cool projects I've been working on. One of the projects is a 3D printer. It's an independent study class. Here it is. Ha, huh, obviously still has to mature, but you can check out the SolidWorks. So, I spent a lot on the motion system, and I'm hoping that it'll be able to print really accurate at high speeds. I'm president of the robotics club, so that's where I spend most of my life. And let's go there and check some of the stuff out. So this is the robotics club. We got all kinds of great stuff here for students to use. Four 3D printers, a metal lathe in the corner, drill, all kinds of tools here waiting to be cleaned up. And I come here just about every day to build robots and work on engineering projects. So I'm going to show you some of the things that I've done. This here is the cloud. It's RGB LEDs mounted inside some mesh with cotton glued on the outside. And you can control it from this web application and adjust the color and color intensity Full disclosure, I did not make it, but it's way too cool not to talk about. Let me hit the light so you can see. All right. Spring 2017, the Robotics Club participated in American Society of Mechanical Engineering student design competition. I built this soccer playing robot, and these are his two teammates, and they competed in a tennis ball soccer tournament against other schools in the Northeast. We went to Penn State, and we should have won. Moving on, for my manufacturing class, I built this Stirling engine and uh, learned a lot about CNC machining and manual lathe work and manual machining. Finally, for my senior design project, my team is building a compact tunneling robot. It's basically a mechanical worm with flexible segments that can dig a tunnel maybe under a road or for any application to avoid using a trench. It's got an auger on the front that will dig the soil and it'll be evacuated with compressed air. And then the rest of the robot is like this worm with mechanical linkages that can expand and contract so we've been experimenting with different ways to get the robot to expand and brace against the tunnel wall so that it can push forward. These are some of the iterations we've made. And this is our most successful design that uses a motor to expand these halves and brace against the tunnel wall. Obviously, we have a lot of work to do, three months to try to make something awesome. But let me at least show you the SolidWorks designs. All right, time to end the video. My team's got a lot of stuff to accomplish before May. Peace, smash subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.